so hello there time for uh reviews well two reviews um i'm gonna start off with um radiant black 4 this is radiant black 4 while we're, while we're reviewing something so i think would you get it so um far into its first uh thing first um cycle i'll learn in english eventually don't you worry i'll try <laughs> uh, and what an issue! I mean, a lot of some subconscious stuff or um, stuff interacting with an alien. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what's going on there, uh, but um, seems to be a lot of exposition going on, explaining about the suit, the radiant black suit, um, the hero getting all the info. Is all good and uh, yes and what a bloody splash page eh? what a page and a half from Marcello Costa with Becky Carey hi so all this is going on and then, and then in the outside world we've got um, him just basically chilling then getting some practicing with his friend as you do uh, more exposition um, from the alien or ad, whatever um, and then um, Radiant Red I think that's his name I don't know it's possible um, something else but I would say Radiant Red <laughs> attacks again because he obviously knows about the hero and then obviously attacks him at his work and it's so fast, it's, it's, it's very good, it's, it's flowing narrative, uh, attacking at work and um, building collapse, uh, building's about to collapse, and it shoves Radiant Red out of the building. And then... The unbelievable, the unthinkable happens so early on in a nascent um, series, the hero dies. I know it's a spoiler but it's been three weeks and Radiant Black 5 is out now so if you haven't read it by now, sue me, you should have done. And yes, um, the hero dies. Oh, poor Nathan, eh? And his friend takes over. He, would you say that's a bait? Would you say that's a bait and switch? Would you say it's a cheap out? Um, no, I think um, I think that's a pretty good um, plot device. I like it. It's it keeps it going, um, and uh, it it sets a rule that um, all the shows have set uh, in on TV that nobody is safe. Anybody, even the hero, can die, and that is a line that Kyle Higgins bravely crossed i mean we've had heroes die in the past but they've been like 20 30 years into, into line and the couch has got stale and a company's done it to boost revenue uh, and they are interested in the character they get rid of him for a five or ten years then bring him back it's a way of life but doing it so early in it's brave but it works because of what's been going on with his friend with Nathan's friend in the previous three issues he's been well 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 up for it well up for it supporting him so it's natural that when his friend dies he takes up the suit for his friend and he wants to be a hero too which is fair enough so yes radiant black number four Kyle Higgins, Kyle Higgins, Marcello Costa, with Becky Carey. 
Rod Fernandez. Yeah. So, you know I'm not going to read the views, but the issue for is still out there, somewhere in the ether, probably on eBay, or a very decent local comic book shop. I mean, I got mine from um, OK Comics um, in Leeds. They might still have some on offer. They might be able to order some in for you. A copy in for you if you wanted. It's easy enough to um, ask. It's a shop at ok.com, okcomics.co.uk. Simple as, I think. <laughs> yeah, shop at okcomics.co.uk. www.okcomics.co.uk. Follow on Twitter at okcomics as well. The 19th Thornton's Arcade, Brigitte Leeds. And if you want to phone them, 0113-246-9366. Radiant Black, issue 4, a groundbreaker. <laughs>